Good evening, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Here. My name is Graham. Welcome back to the harrowing tale of Dungeons and Dragons with Telshi Mordish, Magnar Drivel, a guy whose name I can't pronounce, and Marabu Halsey on the DM. Take it away, Marabu. Welcome back, group. We return back on the edge of the town of Greenest. I thought we went to the forest. You guys were retreating town. You hadn't quite left town yet, but you had captured two cultists. Tied up with some rope and some knit. And we had recently passed a sign that in the direction of the nearby Night Hill Keep. Yeah, so keep that away. I thought we were heading like out from the gate, not inward. We're heading out. We, we were. were. You were you were you were We were retreating the into town, the forest you were at the end. Retreating of it. out. Yeah. All right. So, have we made it to a place where we feel comfortable, Bibs? I, I was wanting to see if any of you guys want to uh, stop before you left the town, or you still want to plan on going out into the forest? I'm still following the monk with my captive, who took the other yeah, captive. Yeah, we're going. Uh, we we need to find a nice secluded place where no one uh, gets suspicious or anything. Come on, D&D okay. puppy, get up here. And you, yeah, your group retreats several hundred feet into a nearby thicket, and uh, now it's in your hands. Oh, I'm gonna take the time to actually reapply the torpor to my hands. So I'm gonna go sit o sit over on, on the underside of the tree and start applying. Now, what's going on? You guys have re safely retreated to a nearby a thicket, several hundred feet away from the edge of town, with your two captives, and now it's back in your hands. Uh, all right. Uh, so, so with my captive, I slap him until he wakes up. Which one was your captive? I think yours is F. The, right? the, the, yeah, the one in the ropes. No, I have the tied up guy. No, the uh, the one in the net. I meant. Yeah, you have captain. You have cultist F. Yeah, the one in the net. Okay, you're slapping the cultist awake. Okay. Then I say we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Y you choose. Tell me everything you know. Everything I know. I don't know anything. Who are you? I, I take my sh uh, short sword and I cut one of his toes off. You're gonna have to roll it and that's gonna be damage. You realize that, right? Yeah. But it, you realize a... that, right? Yes, uh, I do. As b before, before the our fucking sword happy dwarf goes cutting off people's toes um, when he goes to take the sword, sword and does the chop down the sword, I grab a sword. No, that won't be necessary. I, I uh, basically tell us uh, uh, get back a bit. <clears throat> uh, tell him to go back. We're all friends here. Aside from you and your f partners trying to basically cut off my head. You, you say you don't know us, but you're the one who attacked. I'm gonna ask once, and only once, what are you guys doing here, and why did you attack us? Roll an intimidation check. Doctor, I get a weird Joker vibe from your voice, just throwing this out there. Oh well. I can't seem to uh, get my normal voice back anymore right now. Hi, right, Um... Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where... Intimidations plus one, so to be twenty plus one. Hey, you're back to good rolls. About time you get a good roll. <laughs> Rip. About time he's scared shitless. I know, right? So, does that mean he <laughs> passed the fuck out from it being scared? Not quite, no. Shit his pants. Uh, the the cultist tells you that they're, they're here 
raiding the town, trying to collect as much loot as possible to build up a horde for the for the eventual return of their dragon queen. What are you? Are you some dragon watcher? Dragon watcher? Nay, I am merely a servant of the dragon. So you're a slave. Bibs, I'm gonna shoot you something. See if I can pipe up with this. Slave? I'm only a slave to my queen. So, what what is what was that thing that was attacking this town? <laughs> what was attacking the town? We're attacking the town. Last time I checked, you do not have wings. Wings? Do you see anything with wings around here? Quit playing dumb with me, you arrogant pee filth. Just don't kill him, okay? I'm busy. One more. If anybody kills him, I call dibs. The the cultist is even though he's pretty well oh, bound, manages to poke himself with something out of one of his fingers and kills over dead. Didn't I tell you not to fucking kill him? What the fuck did you do? Oh my god, is this one? He looks stupid. I, I called Debs, what the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, can I roll for insight? Sure. Yeah, I didn't realize you rolled a natural twenty. Yeah, that's that's the only reason he even got out of this interrogation. I I gotta check his body. All right, R -r roll perception. You you simply you find this tiny little dagger that. Clearly laced with something that is sticking into hey, his side. Rogue, what's this? Throwing it to him. Dodges as it flies into the tree. No, I toss it to you. I, I toss it to you. <laughs> yeah, I meant toss. Yeah, catches dagger, flips it over. Uh, Bibs, do I need a roll to see if I know what this poison is? Roll nature check. Which is. Even with knowing poisons, I don't know this. Just in case you know, just because you have a poisoner's kit doesn't mean you know all poisons. Oh, okay. It could be a special poison. Nice. Fair enough. <laughs> Do not so challenge he... my dice. <laughs> he showed you wrong. So just because he has a poisons kit, he knows all poisons. Okay, for this particular one, apparently. It seems to be a, a rare strain of Dragon's Bane. Why a dragon cultist would have su such a poison, you do not know. But it also, seems to why, be would it be, why would it affect him at all? It said you, you do not know why he had it, but it apparently seems to be very lethal. Well, looks like the idiot was carrying around a dagger laced with Dragon's Bane. Not a strain I've seen before. But... Killed him pretty quick. The other guy's probably got one too. We ought to search him before he wakes up. Nah, I'm gonna point out a note here. The uh, the poison that I'm calling Dragon's Bane is not an actual Dragon's Bane particular poison. That's just the name that has been given to it. It is not not any more lethal to dragons. <sighs> it's just a very lethal. I don't poison. care about that. I just don't want him to be able to fucking kill himself. I've got no time with these. Wow. 
<laughs> your, your voice? Wow. I so, can't, I can't, I can't I got, do a half work anymore. I got, <sighs> anyway, anyway, um, I've got no time with these half work. Fuck it. I got no time with these guys. You guys handle them. And okay, walk off. Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't try to do a voice because it usually fucks up. I can do it. It's just strain. I want to search my guy to see if I find any other types of of this particular strain of poison or anything that he could kill himself with. So who died? The one that was tied up in the net. Yeah, yep. the F. Oh, this F. So we got. Right, well, we still got C. I take my net back. Yeah. By the way, looking over at the party. Hey, strip him down. I want that robe. If you guys aren't taking it. Why now? Cold to see is awake. Why would Cold to see be awake? He still had three fucking rounds. No, Cold to see was only knocked out for one round. Cold to F was the one that was still knocked out for three more. Yeah. Well, he's still perfectly bound. So. He's still bound, but he is awakened and uh. Sees his dead companion next to him. No, no he, they're nowhere near each other. Those fuckers are over there. I'm under another fucking tree. My captive. Fuckers tried to kill kill this kill the other guy. I don't want to be near him. I mean, look at our killed happy monk. Am I gonna sit near that guy? No. Well, to be more specific on where you're separating your prisoners. Okay. Well, fine. He's, fine. We're sitting next to each other apparently. So, cult to see's dead. Or cult to Seth's dead. All right. So, what does the other cultist do? He he looks at the group and says, and says "I walk I, I walk over towards Gray and the other guy, cultist Magnar or Deke. Shut the hell up for a second." <laughs> cultist, he, he he stares at Dick Payne and stares, stares at your group and he's like, "So, I take it you try to get information out of him. Try the same stunt, and I'll do the same." What if I don't want information? What if I, I want... honestly wanted to ask you a few questions about your order? I'll walk back on. What if I just torture you? Say, cultist wriggles around a bit, seemingly trying to free himself, but makes no progress. Trust me, bud. You're not getting out of that. I'm pretty good at this. But in all honesty, I won't kill you if you can give if you can tell me how I could join your order. I owe a dragon yeah. my life. Yeah, he won't kill you. I will. Why should I believe you? Well, in all honesty, let me see how the fuck to pronounce the name. Ever heard of the town of Veracanus? Isn't that the town that was attacked by that crazed green dragon a while back? Yeah, that dragon took me in, sheltered me. Ah, former dragon slave. <laughs> what do you want to call it that? I enjoyed my life. Where is your master now? Fucking thieves ran it through. Unfortunately, they hit me with a sleep spell. I couldn't do anything. Got away. Just looks grimacingly down at the ground like he's ashamed that he had let fail the master. Now, is this a bluff, by the way? I mean, technically, it's all true. Just, I'm not ashamed the dragon's dead. And I was hit with a no. sleep spell. Not yet, no. Tis a shame. Green dragons, well... Among the weaker, the bunch still have their uses. Yeah, well, that's what I said. I can keep you alive from these guys. They're kind of blood hungry. But I do kind of need to figure out how to get in touch with your master, at least. Because if nothing else, I'm sure my skills will be of use. See, our, our master is farther in the town. I take it that's what laid, laid siege, huh? You guys are just following up. No, no. L Linathon and is, is merely a servant of our master. Interesting. Well, question. 
One last one last question for you. Lenathon, where are you headed after here? I am not Lenathon. I thought you were. Your speech, unfortunately, is not native to my elven tongue. I apologize. Realizing he has probably said a bit too much, he starts to reel around to try and feel for his. I I, I go I go to punch him in the face, not lethal damage, knock him out. Give me one d twenty plus three for strength check. Well. Really? I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough to punch him in the face. Well, Monkey, you want to try punching him in the face before he can do something? Um, uh, sure. Or beating him in the hilt with your, beat him in the head with your, or beat, beating him up with your hilt of your sword. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll check. slap him with the hilt of my sword. It's a one d twenty plus whatever your strength is. Oh, can you give me that name? You said it's a zero. Yeah, my modifier is to zero. Uh, it'd be a 1d20 then. As a monk, hitting somebody you have no modifier? Serious? I got a 15 still. What's what's his AC? That that oh. hits. Yeah. Does it knock yeah. him out? How much? Uh, now do, do how you do damage? I think it's just like a 1d. And, uh, Gray, if you want to know, most of, uh, for Monk, it's based on Dex, Con, and Wisdom, so my three highest stats were put in Dex, Con, and Wisdom. No, it's just, I I'm really surprised that, barehanded, you have no modifiers, just like, wow. Like, uh... in 3.5, barehanded, you would have, like, fucking taken off his head. So, does that nah, knock him out, I... or... I, he's got a roll for damage, for non-lethal damage. But I I don't know what it would be to roll for that. One second. Oh, there is no non-lethal damage. All right, then. So, so effectively, we just had the monk kill him. Brutally. No. No, it, it doesn't kill him, but it's... um. He'll still, still render him, him, un still render him unconscious. Yeah, but... The, but it, um, if he hit, isn't there damage now that's going to be applied to a two health minion? Is he at two health? Uh huh. Yeah, he's unconscious uh, because, yeah, or unless Jaden wants to kill him. Yeah, I want to kill. Him. I'm right. kill happy. Remember? Well, that goes a source of information, but okay. All right, fair enough. He basically breaks his nose and kills him. Yeah. Your, your punch. Changes. We are trying to knock him out and not kill him. Uh, uh, you killed the other guy, so and I wanted to kill him, so I had to kill somebody. Oh, you fucking dwarven idiot. He killed himself. Did you not see the dagger that I've tossed to the rogue? Either way, I wanted to kill him, and he died. So, I had to kill somebody. It's, uh, it, 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 it's in my, uh, Liz it, it, guy, Liz now we got crazy over here talking to himself. Monk. So now you, now you have Give another difficulty. Favor. Go so, strip the yeah. other guy while I work on this guy. So, All right. I want to, I want to search this body before I completely strip it of everything. I, I, go I go strip the other, uh, guy as there I was told. Roll a d20. Any bonuses? No, you're just, just doing a perception check. Just, um, say, besides his, his robes, you don't really find anything of, of note. Besides the dagger, which this one was not coated co in poison. Hey, another dagger. Oh, not me. Seem, seems he was just trying to use it to uh, cut himself free. Hmm. All right. Um, I want to take his robes. Nothing else, and put it in my disguiser's bag. All right. Got 
anything gonna... special for that to be able to get him out of his clothes? Besides Viagra. Uh... Okay. No, it's just gonna take you a little bit to get him out. Okay, well, we're, we were planning on resting here an hour at least. So... And I'm gonna go strip Cult to death. Okay. Now, is there anything special about these two daggers, other than the one that's laced with Dragon Bane? Uh, no, not particular. And the one laced with Dragon Bane barely has any of the poison left on it now. He made sure of that. That's fine. Ow. Okay, I, I'm not sure how he made sure of that when he was tied up and just wanted to get insta us, but sure. Well, I mean, he rolled a, a nat 20 to free himself from it. Like, he was able to free his hands, because he was just trapped in a net, so it's not like his hands were bound. So he just uh, slipped out a hidden dagger and stabbed himself with it. Was it in a sheath? in a hidden sheath. But it was still in a sheath, right? Yes, yeah, uh... Why didn't oh, you... Okay. Probably, probably a hip sheath. Or not a hip sheath. Uh, well, I'm, the one one behind his back. The sheath's still metal. metal. Uh, the elf could hurt it. <laughs> but... I wasn't listening for it either, though. I was working, yeah, on, I was working on daggers, so... But he was... Okay. All right. Well, if he hadn't rolled an at twenty, you guys would at least had a chance to stop him. But well, yeah. he, he just, rolls he just don't always go our way. That's fine. He just quickly pulled so, the dagger out. Oh, we're all and... resting to get back full HP. Yeah, I am. Same. It'd be okay. a long rest. So, if I still have a a spell left over, mm -hmm. and we rest, would that bring me up to three uh, spells? No. Uh, I, actually, I uh, I suggest that we take uh, shifts just in case because we're in on uh, in. Since it's only an hour, I'll, I'll cover it. All right, got you. All right, never mind. Okay, um, well, I'll sleep. Before I sleep, I don't think there's really much I could do because all these only last a minute. So, I mean, I, I've got dark vision, so, I mean, I'll be able to spot anything walking up on us. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. you have night vision because you're an elf. Dark vision, not night vision. I'm gonna cast, I'm gonna cast, uh, Divine Favor on me. Or, not on me, but on, uh... Yeah, never mind. Tell she? Nah, it's fine. It's, it's ten minutes, but if we're lasting an hour... It's say, we're, we're waiting an hour, from what I understood. Alright. So. Well, I guess we wait then. Cricket, 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 cricket. Okay, so... If Anything eventful happen during the one hour of wait? Well, I was going to say, if you guys are, are resting to gain health back, go ahead and roll your hit die. Oh, so they don't Whatever. just naturally get what they had? Okay, well, shit, now i got to check my notes. I don't even know... You you didn't even get hit, did you? No, that's why I said I would wait. I would take the watch. Yeah. Let's say that. I don't know what their hit die is going to be offhand because it's based off of their uh, class, but the, this orc pub thing doesn't show. It. I mean, you could always look up the uh, hit die of a ro or of a uh, cleric and a monk. That's what I'm going to. I'll take monk. Uh, is hit point die? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. It's 1d8 for the monk. I think mine's a 1d8. It's 1d8. Yeah, it's also 1d8. That's who rolled. That's well. <sighs> All right. Ragnar's you know what? You know what? Because I rolled a one, I, before I do sleep, I'm, I'm gonna use a uh, cure wound. So, uh, I rolled an eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, take your, take your back up a little. Uh, Good. Uh, <laughs> are you using cure wounds? 
Yes. I, I gained six life. Alright. So I, I think I'm back to full two. Yeah. Well, that ought, that ought to top you back off. So I still have my two stuff. I used that before I healed. <laughs> I thought it was funny that he rolled a one, then I rolled an eight. Right. Completely <laughs> opposite numbers there. <laughs> okay, so, but Doctor, you said you did not take the the scimitars. No. Okay. They're back at they're back at the. Uh, okay. I just want to wipe those from your inventory if they're if you don't have them. Yeah, they're back at the thing. Well. Okay. An hour passes, and you only see a few more fires starting in the town, and you hear a lot more screaming and raiding going on. All right, guys. Looks like they're having all the fun. Let's get going. Yay, I get to kill more people. Well, let's try to uh, restrain the killing. I get it. It's fun. But let's hold off for a second. But, we have, but that, we but have information. That's what, but, but that's what I live for. But we have information. The but the kill. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. How much is it going to cost to get that silver medallion off you? Uh, let me kill whoever I want and you have it. As long as it's not Magnar. Or me. Uh, y'all kind of friends, so I'll let y'all live. Okay, well, give me the medallion then. I throw him the medallion. All right. Interception! <laughs> Spike! <laughs> okay. Looks at the orc. Really? Takes up the medallion. Don't get ready. <laughs> so, uh, I want to dress up as the, uh, or I want to put the cultist robe and the medallion in my uh, disguiser's bag. But have um, to put the medallion I'm on gonna, top. I'm going to walk over to the uh, rogue. Hey. Oh. <clears throat> that rogue, Jesus Christ, that rogue that you used, let me borrow it. Oh, I didn't ever take it off the body. Give me a second. Goes and unties the now dead corpse. I mean, here, toss the door. I take the rope and I tie it around my hands. I, I give a slow, like, uh, nodding th thing to you, whispering. Let's hope the fucking door doesn't mess anything up. You know he's going to. Yeah, that's why. Look, I, 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 I show him that I didn't tie it too tight. <laughs> Okay, so we're aware that there are more servants of whoever the Linathon is, right? We know there's going to be more. Just from our small conversation, right? Well, yes. he said Linathon wasn't in charge, just Linathon was there. But either way, we, we know that there's going to be more. Yeah. Because he said there's there we attacked the city, and I, I doubt three cultists. Six. Who could barely handle... Who, three, six cultists who could barely handle three level ones are going to be able to do anything. Okay, so, Bibbs. Mm -hmm. Honest question here. If I were to dress as the cultist and have the medallion around my neck, how much bonus does that give me if we have a bluff check against a, uh, a cultist? The, the medallion is really the main thing that's going to give you more credence, and that just gives you plus five. Yeah, but I mean, I would look like them as well. Aye, but it, anybody can wear the robe. And they would they would be less susceptible to find out that it's actually somebody they're hunting up under them. Because Cause all I have to do is call myself a dragon servant. Because I've got that much information. I've got a dragon servant, I've got the robe, and I've got the medallion. I'd and, say the robe and now I have a prison. like at least a plus one. The, the, the robe, I would say, would give you better stealth check for it because they wouldn't actively be searching for a cultist. But it's not going to help you on a bluff check because if they get you in range, like the medallion's really going to be your go-to there. A dwarf. Yes. What do you want? Wear that, uh... Why don't you, why don't you put on that robe? No, I sound like a goddamn dwarf. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doctor's ever I'll evolving pass. voice. I, I, I'll pass. It's uh, made for someone about six foot tall, and I'm four or seven. Yeah, that doesn't work too well. I'll sew it up for you. Yeah, uh, it, 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 look, 
Uh, I like the clothes I uh, I wear. Can I persuade uh, him to wear the goddamn robe? Use my I'm goddamn persuasion guidance. if I have to. I'm giving you guidance. I'm giving you guidance. You're gonna blow guidance on that. No. I mean, if you guys want to roll for it, I'll let you roll for it. If you try and persuade him, but it's up to you, Yin. You but really considering want to fight think... this? What we can roll for it. Considering he's a a stubborn dwarf, I. I'm almost keen to give him advantage on this. Why would he have advantage? It's a persuasion. I'm a does, stubborn piece of shit. Do you have shit. persuasion against it? I'm a stubborn piece of shit. That's my per, uh, that's my uh, persuasion against it. Let's see here. Does he actually have anything? Like your character traits? Do you have anything about against having been uh, persuaded? Give me a sec. No, he didn't. So then it's just d20s, and even with advantage, it's still two d20s, right? Yeah, even with advantage, you just roll it twice and take the higher one. Okay, yeah, do you really want to fight this? Yes, I'm going to fight it. Okay, roll them. <laughs> oh. All right, you, you your turn. Yep. All right, so he's not persuaded, but that's fine. Hey, Bibbs, right. question. No. If I were to knock the rogue out with Torpor, could the orc the rogue, carry him? You, you, you are the rogue. I said if I knock the dwarf out with Torpor. Uh, I, I heard you say rogue. Did I you say, rogue? say rogue? Yeah, yeah you, you said rogue. You said the rogue. Yeah. Okay, fine. If I knock the monk out with Torpor, <laughs> Could the orc carry him? I only weigh 147 pounds, so most likely, yeah. I mean, he could, but he can be. You're gonna be moving into town very slowly. That's fine. We have an offering to the dragon. Don't do it, Gray. I'm thinking about knocking him out, having you dress up as the damn cultist, and put him on your goddamn back. <laughs> Fucking no. tie his ass up. You know what? You know what? I got an idea, Dwarf. I have an idea, Dwarf. I undo the rope, take this, tie yourself up, and not too tight, and I'll wear the rope. But why? So we don't get eaten by, by whatever's in town. Or if I have to... We're literally what walking into a fucking dragon's den. What if I eat it first? Alright, persuasion it is, then. Alright. All right, roll it, dwarf. And we're both just running basic one forties. Uh. You're getting persuaded. <laughs> You're fucking <laughs> getting persuaded. Yep. <laughs> what do you say? Sure, I'll go along with something. I've been a difficult asshole, so let's go. <laughs> All right. Basically, uh, I, I tie the tie it around his uh, waist or his hands, not too tight, to where all he has to do is just like raw and break out. Trusting him not to do that as soon as we come in contact with anybody. Um, uh, That's a big assumption, but all right, we'll go with this. I gotta put on the robe, and uh, I basically get the uh, dwarf to tailor the freaking the uh, elf. Uh, yeah, the elf. Okay, but, Babes, what, but, but, Do I need to roll anything for that, or can I just hand it to him? Uh, just go ahead, hand it to him. But, okay. but before you, but before you tie me up, you have to promise I get to kill whoever I want. We've already made that deal. Oh yeah, that's right. And you were persuaded to be tied up. You don't get any bonuses to this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You just have to fucking go along with this now, <laughs> damn it. Alright, so walking I, I got my shield oh god. Um See so you're gonna be moving at half speed. Why why is he moving at half speed? Because he's carrying the dwarf. No, 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 no. We're not carrying no, 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 no. We oh, got him, we just got him tied. Him. <laughs> okay. He's base he's basically tied uh Gray's in front or I'm in front, Gray's behind. Okay. Uh, and they're just pulling me along. Well, the guy behind you is pushing, and I'm making sure he's making sure you don't try to stab who's ever in front. Do you want to be in uh, front, Gray? Hey, uh, Bibbs, question. Mm -hmm. 
I want to go ahead and make that uh, Dragon Bane Lace Dagger my main dagger for right now. Even though I know there's not oh, a lot okay. of poison left on it, I want to use. I want to have that in my hand. Okay. I will uh, say with uh, what a little amount of poison there is to that left, that f for the next five hits you will get plus, plus three poison. damage against any draconic enemies and cultists. Fine. I I've got it marked to five hits and it's equipped. Okay. Well, we're I guess now walking into town the way that we came from. Yeah, we're gonna walk in through the west gate. And Bibbs, the you said there's something there? we're going to run into, so take it away, Bibbs. Hold on, great. Or uh, Bibbs, are the mm -hmm. are the swords still there? You you guys have moved past this point now. So the swords aren't there. The sword the, the swords are, have already been looted by somebody else in the hour you guys were resting outside. Okay. I want to whisper, uh, uh, um, as we're slowly walking into town, I whispered to the orc, any of the citizens try and jump us, show them your fucking emblem. How are you going to whisper him to, uh, you're in front of me, he's behind me. Well, okay, I trot up beside him and whisper it in his goddamn ear. <laughs> there and then we I get go. back behind uh, you and continue shoving you forward. There we go. That, uh, I was about to say, it doesn't, <laughs> how are you going to whisper it to him when, like, I'm in I, the I don't though? say anything, but... <laughs> I don't say anything, but I do nod. Without warning, five humans Wait, dash out which between which two buildings emblem? on your left. <laughs> Limping which man and three. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> Gray, which emblem? Your fucking religious okay. symbol, damn it. Dude, they I, I doubt they're going to take too kindly to an orc god. Yeah, but no Will cultist is going to have that fucking emblem. Silence. Okay. Without warning, five humans dash out from between two buildings on your left. A limping man and three young children race across the street into more shadows. And a woman carrying a round shield and a broken spear turns and faces back in the direction from which they came. Eight kobolds stream out of the alley on the family's heels and fan out around the woman who looks determined to delay the creatures for as long as possible. How many kobolds? Eight. Eight. Fuck me. Um. Um. I look onward. I, I'm whisper. Can I kill now? Here you go. I'm going to go ahead and before, roll initiative. Before I, before I respond to that, I'll look back at Gray. What do you say? Character looks disgruntled, but not like. Dang, that's a lot of low rolls. Should we help out the townsfolk? Uh, as long as I can kill, I'll help. The character Ignore simply- my, char my character simply nods, but slowly looks at the roofs to try and see if there's anything that needs to be aware of from above. <laughs> okay, I can't see your character nodding. Can you establish what You said you looked at my about? character. Yeah. So you would see my Is character. Is she nodding yes? Is she nodding no? no nodding yes, sorry. Okay. <laughs> My character like, nods. Sorry, um, the, 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 the way I always take it is a nod is yes, a shake is no. Oh. No. Um, That's the way I was always taught. Uh, does the does the human does the human uh female warrior look like she's uh injured? She's not injured, but she does seem winded. Uh, you said you said her uh, spear was cracked. It's broken, yes. Um. All right. Well, I basically uh, turn back and then uh, let loose the, the the quote unquote prisoner and tell him to uh, go not go nuts. Yes. Uh, bap, bap, bap. Slap him real quick on the cobots. Yay! <laughs> uh, all right. So we're officially in combat, but. But before we roll for initiative, I'm going to get up. Basically, I'm, I'm going to roll into uh, where I'm right beside the, uh, uh, the lady. So, I have to DM if you I can pull it for... off, but yeah. Yeah. Do I, unless, unless you want us to roll for initiative. I'll go ahead and roll for my initiative. Can I do that? Because I'm also going to do something to the lady before the combat between the Cobalts happen. Well, she's she's already in 
a, pretty much in the middle for combat. So you guys, right. if you're going well, to join the fight, roll initiative. I rolled my initiative. I'm just behind one cobalt well, so far. Can I take? Can I take? A, I guess a free action to throw throw her something. Uh, she has her back to you. She would not be able to catch it. Can I take a free action to call her attention and then throw her something? She is too distracted by the eight kobolds and surrounding her. Okay, you know what? Do oh, the kobolds see us? The kobolds do not see you at the moment. They are too focused so, on the question. family of five that they're If we decided to take an attack of opportunity before we rolled initiative, could we get it off? Um... Well, if you guys are attacking, go ahead and roll initiative, but you all, the three of you, will gain a one surprise attack each. So basically one surprise round for the three of you. Alright, so, so, so I know what's going on. Where are they located? Where are we located? And how is the, the whole combat site? Why have you not drawn maps yet? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get a map to, to drop in there, alright? But uh, basically, the setup is. Let me see if I can get it to draw here. And... Oh, wait, you're going to draw? It'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attempt to draw here. This is going to be horrible. So what the heck? But... That's a pretty line. I wasn't even trying to draw that. No, that was me. Oh, don't, don't draw. Stop. I'm trying to <laughs> figure out shapes here. Doctor, don't fuck with the DM. Can <laughs> we kill dog? I'm trying to. That's right, I actually have the ability to make Oh, God, Jesus. There. Okay. There we go. Ooh, a circle. Whoa! Can I be this circle? I like this circle. No, I'm definitely not that circle. There's a lot of tiny circles around that. One, two, three, four. I guess now that's leave. us. These aren't perfectly going to be sized, but, uh... There's a lot I'm of goddamn trying. circles. Man, them cobalts are huge compared three, to us. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not us, that's town. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So... They are just in the middle of the road? What's yeah, they just the, ran out from between, up with the, behind the buildings. That's the kids. That's the three they, children. They said they ducked off into the shadows. And why would they only half circle the warrior? Okay, I'm not arguing anymore. Okay, they haven't, they, they haven't fully surrounded yet. All right. Um. All right. Well, I'm going to um. Law man, tell she to roll the same. I, I probably should roll my uh initiation. Roll again, by roll the way. Thirteen. Deek. <laughs> I still roll bad. Okay, so, go, right I go before before me. so once again, yeah. turn order is one person before all of us, right? Uh, last time it was two people, I believe. Is it? Okay, so who had the 19 one person. Was it the female warrior or? No, no, no. Uh, she, hang on. So, okay, so that's cold all day, doesn't matter. Then tell she, then Deke, then... Um. Then a cobalt. Do, do, no. Do uh, there's nobody that these... beats a ten. Oh, that's right. You're right. The magnet. Do any of these cobalts have like anything special about them, like a cobalt captain, a cobalt leader, or cobalt no, no, no. The archers, or anything? These are all. These are all. These are all basic cobalts. Um, actually, Correct. answer that question. Mm -hmm. Answer that question. Hang on one second. Yes. Check um, to make sure. Five of them are wielding daggers, and three of them are wielding slings. All right. So do uh, cobalt uh, do for like A B C, or do like sling one. So S one S two cobalt S one S two, S three, and then D one D two D three, for, and then so and so. So I just need to know in what order are we going? Okay. So there's cobalt. Who, who goes first? Telshi, Deke, Maga, no, no, and no. there is there's a, there's five a... more cobalt. Then the woman, and then the last two kobolds. 
All right. So but which which cobalt? What, what is he I'm getting there. I had to decide which one side the flame hit. <laughs> oh <my God>. Okay. <laughs> so then you, you said there's like all the okay. rest of the kobolds except for one. C, D, and E have slings. I'm just gonna face palm into my desk and it's gonna hurt my forehead. So. Those, those three have slings. So we have a total of eight kobolds, is that correct? Yes, there are eight total kobolds. I thought I could use level and, and... zero spells. Okay. Whenever so, I wanted. Dagger. Dagger. And then you said C, D, and E have slings? Yes. Sling. 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 Dagger. 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 Dagger, dagger, dagger. That's still only... No, there's one... I math good. That's eight. Okay. All right. Five hours to get in. It's even to start combat. To be fair, you guys people. wanted to interrogate people. Yeah. I mean, we got useful information out of it, didn't we? We did want to interrogate people, but we also would like a. Never mind. You'd also like a door that didn't a kill map. everything. A map would be nice. I'll make him have a map for the next one. I thought I thought this campaign came with maps. Is it your name, Azrael, though? This map right. is beautiful. Right. I guess it didn't. I'm I guess trying. it didn't come with. All right. So. It just has a overall tile map. It doesn't have a tile map. Okay, uh, do we know if the woman's injured or not? No. She's no, not. She, she's winded, but she's not injured. The man um, is injured, and there's three children. Can you can you prop down the turn order so I can see who's all going where? In fact, I'll go when? ahead and, and move this, the man and the children farther over. Gray. Yeah, I'm going to put it in D&D &D chat. Or you put it in roll 20. I don't know how to do that. Copy and paste. How? Oh, you mean like just in the chat? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh... Dagger, or D equals a, a dagger, S equals a sling. Alright. Okay. So the cobalt has the... Uh... Yeah, cobalt's so turn. It's cobalt's turn first. They're all focused on the woman. Can you not say any bullshit like that again? <laughs> How about you, Sakawang? If you had one, I might, but I'll pass. Doctor, weren't you grown out of the ground? <laughs> Apparently not. RDM said I can't be. One second, guys. I rolled, but I, I rolled, but I, I have a fatal flaw in my half that I just gotta fix real quick. Gosh, <laughs> failures. She, she, she's a commoner, but the problem is I don't have a AC that rating. Hits. I know it hits. I just don't know what her actual AC rating is to pass. I think I think it's baseline ten, because if you're not wearing armor, that's your armor. I say if she's not wearing armor, it'd be it'd be ten. Eh, fair enough. Hey, I don't wear armor in my Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with, well, we'll go with AT. You don't wear armor and are a monk who yeah, has but... iron skin. <laughs> I know. I, I'm yeah, just, a... I'm and just you're a dwarf. Around. And you're Very a big. dwarf. So. What's it to you? By the way, um, shouldn't our circles be in a line? Not. We're technically in a line? Like, are we walking down the street and then like, all this shit happens? In or... a second. <laughs> I guess so. I'll because move you guys in a minute. I'm just not gonna have labels on you guys. Don't. 
Um, can you can you give uh, one of us admin rights somehow? Right, never mind. I don't know if I can even do that at the moment. Uh, <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> Let me see what? if I can modify that or not. I don't think you can, but you might be able to. Gave us all symbols. Ooh, playing cards. That's not supposed to be there. Stop that. I'm gonna draw 12 cards. And I wanna use this one. Face up in attack mode. Don't worry. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Stop that, I can't get those to disappear now. What the hell are them? <laughs> um, I think we may have broken it. I don't even know how that popped up. I was trying to find something. <laughs> what what type of images are them? The next thing I know, cards. cards started um, appearing. Alright, great. We gotta stop this. Uh, yeah. Anyway. What's the green Any... emblems in our uh, circles? I'm assuming that's weapons there. Oh, if you click them and say delete. You can remove them from the field. This is why you don't give people admin because they start trolling you. Don't worry, nobody has admin. I say nobody has admin. Who did this? Okay, anyways, we we got you guys is there kind of in makeshift line here. Alright, so so who who is gone? We have Barbarian one, who still needs to roll damage, who's done four points of damage. No, Cobalt one. The kobolds. Call them fucking barbarian. What the hell? Yeah, the kobold. Are they kobold barbarians? No, they're just kobolds. Are they kobold fish tacos? Just standard kobolds. So kobold A has already gone. Now it is till she's turn. How far away from combat, in all honesty, are the children, the kids, and children? Uh, the children, the kids. Three children and the very injured man are about ten feet away from the kobolds. Getting closer to an alley to try and escape. Is that man wearing armor? No. And he is bleeding heavily. Is he bleeding because he's panicked? He, he's bleeding because he's very, very wounded. <laughs> is he bleeding because he's panicked? No, nah, he's bleeding because he's happy. No, I mean, if if you're panicked, your heart rate goes up, so you bleed more. Well, I mean, theoretically, it could be. But... Anyways, it's just tell us. Bruh! Now, Wait, so. she took four damage. Mhm. Mm yeah, she's she dead. Four... No, she's not. She has four HP. Commoners mm -hmm. have four HP. Special rule. I, I she's mean... a special NPC. Bibbs is trying to get us to get you have. Why didn't you... Well, okay. Not necessarily have, but that's just... That's, oh, she'll, that's be, she'll be joining us. Like, the... Or I'll kill her woman. Children. The woman is a commoner, but with eight, eight hit points, so... What, what if I kill the woman first? That's entirely up to you. I, I can't control what you guys do up to that point. You guys are just in combat. Until she's turn next, though. I want to prep two darts for anybody that tries to attack the woman again. Okay. Deke. I, I'm uh, I'm going to. How far away away from combat? You guys are uh, about ten feet away from the kobolds. Actually, and about five. Question, Bibbs. How five. bright is it here? It is past sunset, and since you guys have waited an hour, it's probably about ten o'clock at night. So, but the fires aren't illuminating the town at all? They are, but it's... It's lit from the fires in the nearby buildings, but not quite bright enough. It's not daylight, but it's kind of like... Kind of dim light. And you and you said we do get a sneak attack, right? 
Yes, you guys do get sneak attack damage on your first round's hits. Uh, all right, I'm going to attack the closest cobalt to me. Okay. Which, you're in the center, so... I mean... But the closest would be... I forgot to fuck creaking ping. It, it, it'd be this one. Is it? Don't follow the here. whole 30, 30 foot rule, because that's not actually supposed to be distance wise, so you can draw them right. It'll be 20 feet, because our DM can't draw. <laughs> I know, I can't draw. Alright, I can't get them. Technically, if he can't see in the dark, he might think this is a kobold. They got dark vision. He's a dwarf. Yeah, he, okay. yeah, he, he does have dark vision, so. Okay. Yeah. It's not quite dark enough that you need the dark vision, but he, he does have Ooh. it. Ooh! All right, I'm I'm gonna do my roll then. Hey, right, who are you attacking? I'm attacking the one on the left. So he's attacking Cobalt her. A. Yeah. Okay. So this one. Yes. Okay. Ooh, how'd you do that? Just hold the left click. I got an eight. <laughs> oh my goodness, I missed. Ooh, cool. Yeah, yeah, you missed. Yeah, you can go ahead and, and add those letters in. That'll help out a little bit, I guess. Jesus Christ, that was a horrible roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to copy shapes at one point in time. <laughs> oh. Alright, there. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. Alright. Be glad you guys aren't seeing the visual for this. It's more confusing to have the visual. Well, you guys wanted a visual, so I made up something on the fly, alright? It works. I mean, it works well enough to, to determine who's everything. Go, who, whose go is it? It's yours now. I it's, missed it's, my attack. Yeah, it's oh, your turn now. They have more Maga. than eight, being a basic kobold with no armor, not carrying any special weaponry. Alright, there we go. Well, why do I have to be the skinny one? So, <laughs> where did he go? Like, where did you move up, where did he move up to? Over to eight. So, you're essentially like that? Actually, yeah. if we just do the letters, this would be easy enough. So Yeah, if we, if we just want to do the letters and stuff, I got it. Problem is, I don't know how to... Just... Oh, God! Alright, hang on. Alright, next it. session, Gray, you're, you're teaching me everything you know about... That's fine. Alright, um, I'm going to move up essentially Dang behind, it. or... Here. Uh, with these was... two... I wasn't trying to remove the B, alright? Oh, I was trying to click it on the... B just falls over dead, twitching as a magic eraser comes down and squirrels out his head. There. Uh... Alright, so, I'm essentially moving not that close, I'm moving... Yeah, I guess I'll... Yeah, fuck it, I'll go right here. And I'm going to uh, lay down... Um, blah, 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 blah. My ability... It logged me out of my uh, character sheet. Give me a minute. I'm gonna go check on the wife dragon. while you guys are deciding what the hell you're doing. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water. All right, guys. Oh, actually, let's God. just go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll come back to like actually try and round out this combat. Is that good? All right. All right. Okay.